Hello, good afternoon, it's Matthew here, just in Sunning Hill, Jamaica. And it is kind of the beginning of what it seems to be the second wave of the pandemic. And you might be asking, how did I get to Jamaica? So I wanted to answer a few questions that people have been asking about what travel is like here, what's going on, how do you get into the country, how does it work? So I will let you know everything that I've learned so far up to this point. So the main site to visit is visitjamaica.com. It's the government website all about travel. And there's basically three different types of entry to the country right now. Uh, the first is I believe if you are a resident or you are Jamaican. And right now the protocol is if you're coming from another country, depending where you're coming from, you may have to have a pre-done test, COVID test or you may be swabbed at the airport and then when you arrive you have to do a quarantine for two weeks. The other visa is a tourist type um, authorization and that one allows you to go to a bunch of different listings of hotels and um, properties mostly on the north coast from I believe Negril, Montego Bay all the way north coast around to Portland and those are pre-approved places in what's called I think the tourist corridor where you are allowed to go and stay at these places. There's no quarantine required, but you are required to stay on the premises. You can't just roll around Jamaica as usual as you might have in the past. And then the third one, which is the one that I'm doing, is an authorization which is for friends and family where you're staying at someone's property. And again, you are required to quarantine for 14 days. So I'm almost done my quarantine on the yard here, which I've been doing for two weeks. It's been pretty awesome because obviously I'm outside uh, the property includes a river, I have my own cabin, I was able to social distance from people here and just kind of chill out and still able to film some stuff just at a distance. So that's been my quarantine experience. Coming from Canada, I did not need a COVID test and I didn't get swabbed at the airport. It's more the, um, the busier or sorry, riskier countries right now if you're coming from America or uh, I can't remember which, Brazil or a couple other ones, you do need a COVID test done. So please keep up to date. I don't have this information perfect. I'm just giving you my experience so far, but that's how it's been for me. It was pretty smooth coming in off the airport. It took a little longer than usual. The main thing is that they do actually keep track of you and they force you to install an app on your phone and it's called Jam COVID and it does seem to geo track you. So what's required is for me, because I'm doing the family and friends authorization thing, is I have to have this app and a few times a day you get a notification saying, hey, you need to check in and you actually do a video check in. So you record a little video of yourself saying a number and then send that off. So it's been kind of hard for me because I don't really have good service on the yard here and sometimes I'm able to send it, sometimes I'm not. It also asks you for a temperature check, which I thought was very weird because when you get your original travel authorization, it doesn't mention anything about, hey, bring a thermometer. And I'm, look where I am, I'm in the middle of the jungle here. It's not like I got a pharmacy I can run to and say, hey, get a thermometer here. So I've just been doing the video check-ins with the numbers and hopefully that's okay and I'm not gonna get in trouble. Also, sometimes my video things haven't been going through because of the service and I get an error on the app. So I've been taking a screenshots of those errors. I don't know how tough they're gonna be or if it's, they're kind of just using it to scare people and force them into staying uh, quarantined for two weeks. I mean, I have so much to do here, I don't really care. I plan on hanging here for a couple weeks anyhow, so it's not really a big deal for me, but um, yeah, that's kind of how it's been operating. I'll show you on the phone what it looks like. Hey, Kelly. All right, so Kelly's here, just hanging out with Kelly. I'm gonna log into the Jam COVID app. Uh, they want you to always allow it, uh, permissions on it. So it opens up like this. And I, it shows I have bars here, but I tend to have very poor service. As you can see, it seems to be taking a while. Get a message from Andrew Holness, continue. So I keep getting these updates asking me to check in. Am I experiencing any symptoms? No. Next. I'm supposed to enter a temperature reading, but how am I gonna do that? And I'm supposed to say 8309. 8309. Bing! So I've got my video here. I'm gonna use video. 
and then you just submit it. So half the time, I have not even been able to submit it. Uh, half the time it does work. So still going, still going, still going. Very slow. So I don't know if I'm the only one following the rules right now and people are just coming and traveling as usual. I mean, that's what it kind of seemed. I've met some other people who are traveling and said, yeah, yeah, I just came and did whatever. Uh, I've been following the rules mainly number one, I don't want to get anyone sick, especially over here. And number two, I have so much to do here anyway, so it's not a big deal for me to be here for two weeks and not be able to move around. I actually get a lot done as far as shooting goes and you know catching up with everyone here. But um, I don't know. If in, oh, stepping in ants. Stepping in ants. Jeez, I gotta watch my step here. I've been so good for like 10 days about stepping in ants. <laughs> okay, here it goes, it's successful. There he goes, the video checking was successful. So this one was actually okay. Took a couple minutes and I didn't get a weird error. There's one error that says J Sun something something, so kill that. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm one of the only one following the rules here. I don't know how strict they actually are when you exit. It was kind of hodgepodge when you arrive. It's like they give you the app, they make you install it. But then you also do a sort of paper check too, and they give you a paper form to fill out and do your temperature. And then when you say you don't have a thermometer, they say, oh, just get someone to get a thermometer for you. It was very kind of strange. You'd think when I was at home, filling out the original travel authorization you need to fill out before you fly to Jamaica, that it would notify, okay, you need these things, here's how it works, just kind of set you up. But you basically sign a form saying, you may have to sign, or you may have to put an app on your phone, uh, you may have to wear a tracker, like a wristwatch tracker or something like that. You sign off on all these things just to get into the country. So if you have any more information than I do, uh, let me know. I travel on September 23rd, and the people that I met that had traveled earlier than me said there was none of that really they just it was much easier or much lighter they hadn't quite figured it out yet or you might have put an app on your phone but it didn't have video check-ins or that kind of thing or i've met people who bring a second phone and put the app on that so anyway i'm not here to advise you on what to do i'm just telling you about my experience um but so far in jamaica it's been very calm very chill but i haven't been going anywhere i get cooper to go to the shop for me if i need anything uh, monk was cooking all the food and stuff here so i got no want for that there are some waves coming which i would like to go to but i can wait a little bit to do that too so i'm going to finish up my quarantine i uh, keep shooting tons of ross kitchen and hopefully hit the road and do some more interesting stuff or not more interesting but just different kind of stuff off yard here do a little travel whether to portland or Montego or Negril or who knows where so the other question people have been asking me is why can't they find the Airbnb so after maybe a month into the pandemic we're, there were still so many bookings coming in but everyone was canceling so it was creating all this work for Aaron big up Aaron in Florida who takes care of the Airbnb stuff and people were asking all these questions which we had no idea which is you know is Jamaica going to be open for traveling how is it going to work so when Jamaica finally did reopen for tourism on June 15th for everyone from any country uh, we finally had a bit more information but still because people were not looking at the facts and seeing oh I have to do a 14 day quarantine before I come everyone was still canceling their trips so yeah we took it down for a while uh, it's gonna be back up now and I just put a notification in saying look if you're in Jamaica for a long time and you've done your two weeks you can definitely book and stay on the yard but other than that if you're a tourist you do have to stay in that resilient corridor so that's the current situation also I did forget one of the other authorization if you're doing business here you have an option for that one too so there's the business traveler option where you still do a quarantine but you're allowed to leave your hotel or place of residence one or two times a day for business anyway i'll put that link below but anyway moco's place is open so if you're in jamaica and you can want to stay for three nights you can book the place if you're coming here for an extended trip you can still book the place after two weeks so i hope you can still come support moco he's very excited to have guests and he built a new house and he uh you know is missing this because he really enjoys having people from all over the world come to stay at his place so anyhow 
I'll give some more videos about my experience as I start traveling around, but I don't really have much updates other than life feels very good and it feels very normal on the yard here. It's just business as usual and uh, excited to finish this quarantine and explore a bit more and give everyone an update. So bless up, thanks for following. Please comment, share below. If you have any commentary or if I have something wrong, please feel free to correct me and check that uh, Travel Jamaica site or I'll link the whatever the site is down below. That's where you're gonna go to get all your updated information. So have a good one.